back Make over my change. life. And hello and hello again. And welcome to another edition of the Living Strong Television Network broadcast where I am, yes, your guest speaker, Prophet Scotty Lee Johnson. We're coming to you live out of the Whosoever Will Outreach Ministry located 2121 Tillman Highway in the beautiful city of Ridgeland, South Carolina, under the leadership of none other than Pastor Josie M. Bostick, along with Dr. Earl Bostick, Sr., DMD. What you need to do tonight, right quick, is to call a friend, call a neighbor, and let them know that living strong is on, and when you live strong, you cannot go wrong. And that the fast 30 minutes is about to start. Also, I would like for you to know that the word of the Lord, it is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of bone and marrow. That word is also a discerner of the thoughts and your intents of the heart. We're looking at something very powerful on this week. We're talking about the blessing of forgiving and how much it is to be a blessing, to forgive. So what you need to do is also make sure that you log on, take time, and send a donation. Sow a seed. Be a blessing. Don't be a taker. Always be a giver sometime. P.O. Box 363, Ridgeland, South Carolina, 29936. I think that's it. If I didn't miss, however which way, I want you to know also that tonight we're going to be looking at a very special interview again coming from the PT Media Group listening event right there in Atlanta, Georgia. And we are going to be interviewing tonight and looking at the interview with none other than my brother, oh my God, Lamar Campbell. I want you to know that there's just something about him. His words are so expansive. His song is so, ah, it's Cal Gun Take You Away. If, and, and I cannot wait to see this interview in uh, just the song itself. And it's so much about Le Brother Lamar Campbell I can begin to talk about right now. But we're going to look at that later. Right now, at this time, call a friend, call a neighbor, and let them know Living Strong is on. Fast as 30 minutes starts right now. Listen to me. We are moving forward in what God is doing. The Bible declares in the book of Mark, we're still there. Yes, we are. Prophet Johnson, no, not again. Oh, yes. Why? Because forgiving is very powerful. It is essential to living. Without forgiveness, there could be really no essence of living. Even the most atrocious things that have happened all over the land. Tonight is prophetic release. And what you need to do is to make sure that you go and you say to somebody, this is the guy I was telling you about. That's Prophet Johnson. This is the one that I want you to hear. And tonight, the word of the Lord is coming and it's going to be quick and it's going to be powerful, and it's going to be sharper than any two-edged sword because the Lord is breaking through in your life and in my life and in the life of others, and he's doing a right now thing. There's an elderly lady. You've been sitting in the hospital long enough. God is saying you're getting out of that place. There's another woman about 84 years old, and the Father is saying to tell you that the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow to it. For he's blessed your household and your children's and your children's children. So do not forget to give him what belongs unto him. There's a man that's looking right now, and you've been having a real bad stomach problem, and you've been wondering, even if your stomach is about to burst open with all the bad habits that comes from the past of dealing with those things that comes from however which way. But God is saying, don't overload yourself. He's bringing you into a healing process. And that healing is beginning to take place tonight. There's a person that's watching me right now and tonight. And you've been having a problem with one of your eyes. And almost as if you're concerned about being blind by cataracts. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is in a way. But the Lord is saying to tell you, your left eye is not going to go blind by cataracts. There's also a person that's watching me on tonight. 
You're concerned about a child graduating. Every last one of those children going to graduate in Jesus' name. You might as well go ahead and start shouting right about now. The other person that's watching me on tonight, you're going to land a very important CEO job position in a, a da, 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 retail management type business or uh, store chain type. And the father's saying, tell you, that's going to happen by the month of December. There's a person watching me on tonight, and you've been stripped of everything, and it looked like you don't know what to do and where to go. And the father's saying to tell you, do not move, do not go nowhere. You need to stay exactly where you are. I want each and every person that's watching Living Strong tonight to know that we are listener support, supported. We are also viewer supported. And without your support, we wouldn't be able to come to you while you're riding down the road in your cars, or sitting in the house with your chip in your dips or whatever the case may be and bring this level of word. And the Lord is saying to tell someone that's watching on tonight that yes, oh, somebody's saying to me, say again to me what you said about the person that's sitting in the house with the situation. The father's saying to tell you, do not move. Okay? There's another, yeah, you stay, remain. You, you stay put, don't move. But yeah, you're the one that's not going to move. Stay stationary because he's going to move for you within the next two months. That's going to call the turnover to take place to where everything that you're about to lose, he's going to savage that on your behalf. So you're asking the question, is it me? Yes, it's you. There's another person that's watching right now. The father's saying that he's going to finance your position and push you over, oh wow, into the overload position like you've never seen before. There's a person watching tonight. You're in real estate and you're reluctant about moving forth in real estate and in doing more in real estate and the Lord is saying to tell you that may come to a low and they may come to a halt for a little while or a stalemate or a stillness because you're ready to do something else. Look for the next adventure because the Lord is getting ready to open up a whole nother city unto you. There's another person right now and you're thinking that you're a late bloomer and you're about 15 years old, 14 years old and you've been thinking about God, will I ever be able to make it in acting? Will I ever be able to go to Hollywood? Will I ever be able to experience California? And the Father is saying to tell you tonight that better late than never. I want you to know that you're young and God is releasing favor on your behalf. Keep training, keep working out, young lady, because God got great things in store for you. And he's saying to tell you that practice make perfect and you are just not any pragmatic person but you're beyond the norm and you're bursting through like never before. So go ahead and give a shout out to that. There's another person that's in fear about coming home and you've almost as if ran away in a way and the Lord is saying to tell you, go home because they're missing you and they love you. So if you went off for a couple of days or whatever the case may be, or whatever the rendezvous may be, the party's over, go ahead and get your grip, go on back home and Tuck your tail between your leg and, and everything will be all right and be submissive and watch God begin to bless. In the book of Mark, chapter number 10, prophetic release tonight, we're moving very powerful. Interview is coming up with Brother Lamar Campbell. You're going to enjoy that. The Bible declares in verse number 29, chapter number 10, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that have left house or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children. This is Jesus talking right here. Or lands. <laughs> of course they didn't leave lands. Every time I get to the point where it said lands, <clears throat> I'm almost like, Lord, what are you talking about? Lands? And then he reminds me of the book of Acts, where they sold houses, and they la sold lands, and they came, and they laid them at the feet of the apostle. And the Bible declared that there was none among them that were lacking. And then you know the story, Ananias and Sapphira, they decided to come along. Somebody watching me right now. The father saying to tell you that you're looking at me and saying, Prophet Johnson, you make this seem so easy. Why do you make it seem so easy? I've been doing this since I was 12 years old. And the father wants you to know that he is now, oh God, this is the word for you. you. You ask this question, Lord, he makes it so easy. He makes it so simple. You ask the question, and the Lord is saying to tell you, now I'm going to make it easy for you. There it goes again. 
He's saying, now I'm going to make it easy for you. And there's a way coming out of no way. And the sight unseen is about to be seen. And he's saying to tell you that there is yet a book unfolding in you and a purpose unfolding in you like never before. And he's going to unlock the law of life so that you enter into a whole new blossoming season of seeing things being made easy for you. Forgiveness is so very powerful. So very powerful. And look at this. And Jesus declared in his word, who have left brother, sister, mother, uh, and, and a father, or, or house, or children, or wife, or land. He gets to land, and I have to stop right there. And then he goes on to say, for my sake. Whose sake? For his sake. Hmm. Jesus. In the beginning was the word. Prophet Johnson, I've heard you quoted that so many times. Don't quote it again. I am. And the word was with God and the word was God. And the same that was with God was God. And there was not anything made except it was made by him. He came unto his own. His own received the not. But as many as he came unto, he gave unto them the power to become the sons of God. Getting poor. He gave unto them the power to become the sons of God. Genomile, which means to speak the same word that I spoke that's going to give life. And this life is unfolding like never before. Now, look at this because we're going to pick it up. And, I, and, and you're saying, well, now, here we go again. You just stop right there in the middle of everything that you were saying and you kept going. Why did I do that? It is because it's to keep you on your tiptoes, to keep you moving and locked in with that word of God so that he know that you know that when he lines you up, he lines you up with everything. I give unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness. A lot of us got the godliness together, but we don't have the life together. It's good to have the godliness together, but let's give a life. All right. And it goes on to declare this, for my sake and the gospel. In the beginning was that word. He came unto his own, his own received them not. But as many that came unto them, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Okay? But verse number 29 also declares for my sake and the gospel and the gospel number one Jesus the anointed one in his anointing is what's more important first of all because it comes through him and then after that and the gospel which means now you carry it. Okay? All right. Now, what we're getting ready to do is to look a little bit further, but I want to remind you, fastest 30 minutes is coming. We got to hurry because we are getting ready to look at a clip of the interview with Brother Lamar Campbell, and I'm excited about it. But verse number 30 declares, but he shall receive my sake and the gospel, which means my name, and you're going to carry who I am, but you're going to receive a hundredfold win. Now, not, oh, oh no, 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 not in heaven, a hundredfold now, while you are right here. Could you imagine how much a hundredfold is? coming from God. Let's hurry. <coughs> in this time, when in this time, houses, hundredfold now in this time, houses. We're getting ready to kind of slow down a little bit right there because I am getting too excited about what God is ready to do and what he is speaking in his word. He's saying, you shall receive a hundredfold now and in this time. But I've got, he declares in chapter number 11, in verse number 25, and when you stand praying, forgive. 
And if you have ought, how are you going to receive the hundredfold? Now and in this time, by forgiving and dismissing the ought, there is so much on this tonight until I cannot wait to get back to you after the clip with Brother Lamar Campbell. We are getting ready to go to that clip with Brother Lamar Campbell. And while you're watching that clip, take a moment and look at this and listen to the words in which God is going to be speaking and we're going to be coming back talking about the blessing of forgiving and then I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon, excuse me, administering to the people. It's time. Let's look at that now. Let's go to that clip. We're going to have a look at that clip with Brother Lamar Campbell. And my new song is Open the Sky. This is Lamar Campbell, Brother Campbell. This is, this is, thank you. This is Brother Lamar here. And his new song, his new song was Open the Sky. And it brought tears to my eyes. Brother Lamar, let me ask you something. When you sung that song, you spoke something very important about God doing it again. Yes. What inspired you to come up with that song and to sing that song? I heard part of it, but didn't get all of it. Yeah, well, it was co-written with a, with a friend, well, actually, the guy that produced the uh, record with me, Jeff Thomas, and it came together, basically, we serve the same God who is who did those miracles back then, he still perform, performed them now. And we have to remember that our power lies in him. And greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. And if he did it before, he can do it again. And take our minds off our present circumstance and begin to focus in the direction of the one who really can help us. God, open the sky and do it again. We need a blessing. Indeed, indeed, and that brought so many tears to my eyes, and I know with you and up and coming, there had to be significant leaderships in your life, oh, yeah. and I want you to share with us, who was the influence that really motivated you so much, whether it was a parent or a teacher, but what motivated you so much to come out and to sing with the passion that you sing with? Well, basically, I, I'm a fan of gospel music. I listened to it early. Um, when I was real young, my father used to come in um, and cut gospel radio on early in, on Sunday morning, and we would hear it, and I just began to be a fan of that, and I started playing for churches. So, yeah, and so, yeah. So you had a passion? Yeah, yeah I've had a passion for it, and I've always uh, had a passion for doing gospel music that has a sound message and, and done in a professional way, yeah. So God has given me the gift, and I just give it back to, to him for his glory. And so it followed you all this time. So share with the Living Strong viewers how we can get in touch with you and maybe continue to get some of your CDs and more information about you. Okay, you can always Google me, Lamar Campbell. Um, some of the songs you may know are all about the love of Jesus. Um, God, I love you more than anything. Closer, a lot of songs that people may know. And um, you can catch me on Facebook, Lamar Campbell. You can catch me on Twitter, Lamar Campbell One. And um, I'm easy to get to. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we are definitely going to look forward to hearing about you even more in the future. Yes, the project comes out September 24th. Wow. September. That's the song that brought tears to my eyes, and we are looking forward to that, and we want you to make sure you do the same thing. So continue to log on to Living Strong, and we're thanking God, and we will keep Brother Lamar Campbell in prayer. Is there anything that you want to share with us in the Living Strong viewers before we go? Don't stop believing that God can do the same miracles that he did before back in Bible days. He can do it again. Don't, don't stop believing. Prophet Johnson, Lamar Campbell, Living Strong, thank you. And we know that you just enjoyed that interview with 
Brother Campbell, and let me tell you something. He sung, Open the Sky. Now, I'm going to slow down because it's a rainy night in Georgia and a rainy night in South Carolina because the rain has got to fall. For the, oh, there is so much. I was talking to a lady just recently and she was concerned about the rain not coming in in the farm. I said, oh no. I said, your crops are going to get wet. She said it rained everywhere else but my house. I said, look, and she's about 78 years old. And I said, look, young lady, I said, your land is going to be soaked before this week is over. The rain came the next day. This young man, Lamar Campbell, he sung, open the sky. And when he sung that, he said, God, return back to us. That which you have given in that which you have promised, in that which you have done before, you will do it again. I've got to take my time because I know the weather is allowing us to be disrupted a little bit and I hope that we're coming in clear enough so that Brother Campbell, you can hear the words of El Elohim, Shay, open again now. And he would say unto you, Lamar Campbell, for the same way that you have opened up for others, so shall I open up for you. Even upon giving you this song, I spoke into your spirit and said, did I not? It also shall open the lives of others as well as I shall open the lives of of you and other people's lives. So he's saying unto you this night that once again, you have, and even as you have, opened up for so many people, so shall I begin to open up for you. The Father is saying to tell you that he set you into a web to where he shielded your life and kept you hid and secluded for him personally. Even your personal life is that which is of nobody's business because it carries a powerful surrounding and a powerful covenant based upon hearing God. And the Lord is saying, you're not so much worried about the second adventure. The first is good enough for you. And he's saying to tell you that there's a release that's taking place on your behalf, Brother Campbell, and that you don't hear, don't hear from everything. And everything that you're lining up with, he's saying to tell you that it's practice making perfect. And he's saying that there is a desire that you have to be a blessing to one that is so close in your life he even gave birth, and the father sang to tell you, surely this too shall come to pass. And he sang to tell you that I'm releasing on your behalf. And he sang to tell you that the founder's organization is going to be giving you a call, letting you know that there's something about who you are that's been founded upon this land like never before. I don't know what none of it means. Never even asked God a question. But when you sung that song, you sung it from the heart. And I heard Samantha Carswell say that when she first met you, it was something about your spirit. You just clicked naturally. And it was the same way with me. You have this genuine ability to love and this smile and this outcast that is like a sunshine on a gloomy day. No reason wasn't no mosquito biting you that day. You sung too good, you sounded too good, and you was too anointed. My God, the Father sang to tell you that without being the Father, I will make you the Father of many through the songs 
that will come through the love of your heart. And it will birth many in the care and his will. If it moves me, I know what it's going to do for others. Matter of fact, I'm going to be requesting a copy of each and every individual up there who sung at that PT Media Group listening event. Brother Lamar Campbell, I want your tape. I want Brother Kevin Lemons, Maurice Griffin, Samantha Carswell. I want all four of your CDs. That's right. And I'm looking forward to the new events that are coming up. Brother Lamar Campbell, the father said to tell you, he's extended you across the top of the board so that you can reach the landing zone. And he's extended the top region of your health so that everything begin to flow. He's going to remove and strengthen like never before infirmities in the bone and strengthen cartridges, knees, hips, ankles. And he's going to strengthen you. What? Brother Lamar Campbell, tonight is your night. I want you to know you got a prayer warrior and you got a friend indeed in Prophet Johnson. Thank you for giving us that interview. Listening strong viewers, you still got time. You still got time to let somebody know that the fastest 30 minutes is still coming and going and we are getting to the good part. But listen to this. <clears throat> We've got to go back into the word of the Lord. There's a whole lot that I've got to show you right quick about this. Therefore, I say unto you, this is Jesus talking. All right? And we want to look at this one last verse. What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe them that you shall receive them. And when you stand praying, forgive. Forgive what? This is what he's talking about. In this word, am I? And I like to say it, Akfamai. That's the way I like to say it. Sounds a little bit either to me. But I gave you a little bit of what it meant. Listen to what this word forgiveness means. It means to yield and to give up a spirit. A spirit that offended you means that you took it on and now it has hurt you. So that spirit is on you. you Time to explain. The forget even exist. that well I'm only
nothing to tell make you the captain you Given you So what which is came the captain over in the to leave or let alone. You forgive it? That want to agitate your past. Forgiveness is so powerful until it sits over everything else in your life. And no matter what comes up through the barrier, and no matter how bad it is, it's got to come right back down and be suppressed under forgiveness. That F-O-G-I-V-E stands over every bit of hatred. It comes up. They make mention of it. It rears its head. 
But forgiveness brings it right back down. It cannot stay there. Why do you think the Crips and the Bloods and the gangs of Chicago, New York, California, why do you think they have such a strong unity? Because they forgive each other. They know that the world don't care. And the answer to the Crips and the Bloods in any other game that want peace is to look to the other side of the aisle and say, I forgive you. You killed my brother. You killed my sister. My mother. My family. But I forgive you. The same way I fought to get in this family is the same way I fight to forgive you. There's answers. Go out and point fingers at them and say they ain't no good. Nothing but gangsters and gangbangers. The devil is a liar. The reason why is because society drives people into places to where they seek families that love them. It's not to justify. It's not to condone. It's to speak truth of how powerful forgiveness is. And this truth is going to take us a mighty long way. People, I want to simply say I do apologize for the weather, and I don't at the same time. But it's God's will. I can't help for what it does to the camera. I apologize for that. But I don't apologize for the weather and the blessing because we already called it forth. Thank God for the rain. Fast is 30 minutes, y'all. I'm going to have to do a recap prophetic release tomorrow night. I didn't get finished. I'm going to come back tomorrow night with a second prophetic release. It's already come and gone, and I'm excited about it. Pray with me, Father. Forgive me as I forgive myself as well as others. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, that's it for me. My time is up. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same channel. Want you to have a good night. Bye now. Forgive my daily behavior for what I said in my Savior for. I fall asleep before the record. Lord, it's my simple blessing when we all agree. They call it sleep. What took the autumn leaf and they call it peace for the conqueror? About my colonies, none of all the breeze. We all are meeting.